Hi beauties, it's Jean Persani with Beauty and the Stamper and we're going to do a Dollar Tree DIY. I'm going to be using so many things from the Dollar Tree but they're all things that you can easily find so let me go ahead and show you. I'm going to be using this fish bowl here and I'm going to be using one of these little pedestals. This one happens to be white. You can use them in any color because we could paint them. I'm going to be using this vase and this candy dish. And then I'm going to be using um, a carton of eggs, and then I had one left over, so I'm going to be using seven eggs total. I've got some more of the twine, and then of course my essentials being the hot glue gun and a little bit of paint. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to move you down so you can go ahead and see what I'm doing. All right, first things first, we're going to take the lid right off of here. And depending on what you're going to use this for, you can take this off or leave it on. It does fit very nicely in the jar with it on. So, but you might not want that look, and it's all up to you. So, either leave that on or take it off. Either, either way, you can decide. But we're going to use a little bit of the Artisan Mars Brown uh, acrylic paint here. And then, depending on what you're going to put in here, if you are going to put food, like candies or something, that's going to be um, touching that lid, then you'll want to paint the outside, in which case you'd use the white first. If you're going to be putting like a light or something like that, then you can paint the inside. You know, I think what I'm going to do is paint the inside. So I'm just going to take a little bit of this and kind of dab it on here. Just little, little bits. And the reason I'm putting these little bits is so that I could, ooh, of course, always. I'm then going to take just a little piece of sponge here and kind of make that go around and put little bits of markup because if you guys know me I love that little farmhouse marked up look so and that's gonna come across in here and you can do the same inside your um, top there and I got this so you can go really inside very well so We've got that going on. All right, we're gonna set that aside to dry for just a moment, and let's move on. Now that we have some of that brown on here, this is already white. You can see there's some parts that kind of have a little bit of dust and dirt already, so I'm gonna kind of just go over those spots. You can always paint it white if you do have some of those spots like that. But I'm going to put a little bit more on here. And I'm going to start up at this top because I need to get some of that off of there. Can you see it's much darker? But that's okay. I'm just going around here giving it that little bit of look and now I'm gonna go through and kind of take some of that off or put some on apparently <laughs> you know me it looks like it's dried up pretty quick but okay we're okay with it still but now that I've done that and made that a little bit darker. I'm going to go ahead and go in here and put some darker spots with that extra paint. So there we go. All right. As long as it matches. And then I'm going to set this aside. Actually, I'm going to add a little bit to the top here. Thank you. 
and I, this is going to be a little farmhousey look so I'm not too worried with any of the cr cracks or anything like that because it is um, what is this made out of it's kind of like a, a clay so that's done set that aside we're gonna now paint this white can you see my dust is getting dirtier and dirtier with all these DIYs but you can probably hear the noise in the background we've got babies out in my regular workspace we've got business being conducted and so I moved this into the room into my craft room as you saw earlier but I'm just gonna stick this in here and go ahead and move that around we're gonna paint that inside and you can see that brown showing through in there so Just twirling this around, getting it in there. There we go. And you could see again, when I'm putting that there, the I put the brown first, so that's gonna show through. If you can see that brown still showing. But what I'm doing is I'm making the lid of this match the uh, base. So I think we're going to be done. And you know, I always get people saying, I wish you'd tell me what you're making. But you guys, the thing is, is I don't know what I'm making. I mean, I do, but it does it have a name? Has it been made before? I don't know. Is it a cloche? Is it a uh, apothecary jar? It's whatever you want it to be. Candy dish, flower vase. You know me, I'm always trying to make something out of other things. But I think this is good. Oh, I like that. Okay, so we've got the matching top. And again, we could have done it on the outside. It probably, well, that matches pretty well. So you can see that they, they do match rather nicely. And I went ahead and just painted this guy, so that's got to come out. Okay, we got it. It was water-based, so a little bit of spit will do it. So, yeah, these, these actually came out rather nice. I got that off to the side. We're going to take these guys, and I'm going to put the two white eggs right on the bottom because that way they're guaranteed to sit apart from each other. And I'm just gonna put these in. Now there are holes on there. So I wanna make sure that the holes are facing a different direction and not being able to be seen. Okay, so we've got that. I'm gonna show you from the side. We've got our eggs all in there. And they're going to roam around, but that's okay. But those seven eggs fit perfectly. Six will be fine too, but I had the extra one, and I think it just fits perfect. I couldn't put another one. And if I had one less, it might um, not fill in as well. But So this white egg is giving me a background that I don't want. There we go. This is the hardest part, I guess. <laughs> These little eggs, they're little boogers, but okay. We're okay. There. Now, if they're facing up toward the top, it's okay, because we are going to hot glue this one to this one, just like that. Okay. So what we're gonna do, this is so hard, but I wanted to, I know you guys have been wanting some DIYs. So I'm trying to give you more DIYs. You can put the hot glue, just make sure you do it quick and right around the base. Cause you don't want this falling off. So you have to be kind of quick. 
Okay. We're going to be quick. And then you're going to line this up right over it. And it fits perfectly. So you see that? And there is a little bit showing, but that is okay. I mean, this is a DIY project, so you can make it perfect. You could also use E6000 if you want to. Okay. Now, again, this lid fits perfectly on there. And now we're going to take and we're going to glue the whole thing to this. So here we go again, and it fits perfectly in here. So f just put the glue in and then set it right in there. And then just make sure it's straight. Oh my gosh, it's so huge and so big. I cannot wait to show you. I'm going to put a picture in, and I will show you. All right. Uh, give me a big thumbs up, you guys, and I will talk to you later. Make sure you subscribe if you're not already a beauty. All right. I'll talk to you later. Bye.